Attorney General Jeff Sessions denied suggestions Tuesday that he misled Congress in previous appearances before Senate committees in which he was asked about Trump campaign contacts with Russian officials. Questions about the Attorney General's prior answers to Congress came during testimony before the House Judiciary Committee. Lawmakers asked about the latest developments in the ongoing investigations into Russian interference in last year's U.S. presidential election, including one Trump campaign adviser's guilty plea to misleading investigators. The questions focused on campaign foreign policy adviser George Papadopoulos' attempts to coordinate a meeting between then-candidate Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin, and his presence at a March 2016 meeting also attended by Sessions. The Attorney General's response drew scrutiny from Democrats who believed that Sessions may have known more than he previously disclosed. Sessions said he now recalled the meeting, following recent news reports on the matter, but that he always told the truth in appearances on Capitol Hill. He additionally added that he wanted to make clear to Papadopoulos that he was not authorized to represent the campaign with the Russian government. But I did not recall this event, which occurred 18 months before my testimony of a few weeks ago, he said. Check back for live updates on the hearing throughout the day. 2.52 p.m., steps to mitigate interference in future elections. Asked what steps he's taken to protect elections, Attorney General Sessions says, I have not followed through to see where we are on that. Pick.twitter.com slash 7CZG13FZ6E. After telling the Senate Judiciary Committee a month ago that the U.S. was not prepared to prevent future interference in U.S. elections, Sessions admitted he has not followed through to see where we are on that. I will personally take action to do so, he said. A lot of things have been happening. We are working on a lot of great agenda items. But this one is important and I acknowledge that. And I should be able to give you better information today than I am. To 41 p.m., the president speaks his mind as he chooses. Sessions took no responsibility for Trump's opinions when asked by Rep. Pramila J. Apple, D. Wash, about the president's statement last week that certain members of the intelligence community were political hacks. The president speaks his mind as he chooses, Sessions said, adding that he respect s and value s the intelligence community. During earlier questioning, Sessions gave a similar answer when Rep. John Conyers, D. Michigan inquired about whether the president should make public comments that could influence ongoing investigations. The president speaks his mind, he said. 1.23 p.m., I am not a fan of WikiLeaks, says Sessions. I am not a fan of WikiLeaks, A.G. Jeff Sessions says, adding he's not able to make a judgment on Donald Trump Jr.'s newly revealed contacts pick.twitter.com slash q183c8qymd. Rep. Eric Swalwell, D. California ended his line of questioning by asking for the Attorney General's opinion of WikiLeaks, the website founded by Julian Assange, which the U.S. intelligence community has said was behind leaks of sensitive information, and, during last year's election, emails purportedly belonging to the Democratic National Committee and Hillary Clinton presidential campaign officials.